Okay. Back to the next step on this. Tona Carmen. So, moving along quite nicely, really. So, I've just finished doing the travel side palettes. So, the next job I'm going to do is just what I want to get just done. It's nice to get done. It's Bella's gasket. Because when I was just testing it out, I was noticing some air was escaping from the join between the triple side and the bellows. I could feel it on my face actually. So what I'm going to do now is, is go around and just show you how I'm going to replace the bellows gasket, which just helps to improve the seal between the base and treble ends and the bellows themselves. So I'll just show you how I'm going to do this. So the first thing you need to do is to get the accordion apart so that you can actually work on the bellows themselves. So if I just bring this round. So I've got the accordion here, so I'm going to take the pins out and just get the bellows separated. So again, don't forget to make sure you know where your pins are going. So I'll, I'll get the bellows apart and show you that and then we'll go through the bellows gasket. Okay, so here we got the bellows separated. And the bellows gasket is this leather gasket that's going all the way around the frame here. Now this is a piece of leather and this looks to be the original leather that's been on there for a long time. It's not too bad, it's quite narrow, it's quite thin, so ideally I'd like that to be wider so it covers more of the frame here. Um, so it's, just, it's a little bit narrow and also it's probably got a little bit in hard and flattened and so what I'm going to do is take off the bellows gasket and I'm going to put some new bellows gasket and this is just a little bit wider um, I think it's 7mm wide, 7mm wide, 2mm thick bellows gasket and I'm going to put that on instead, it's self-adhesive. So the first thing is to get the old one off. And the way to do that, I found, is to get yourself a nice blade. Choose yourself a point. Lift it up. And then just cut it. And then what you can then do is using your blade as well. You can get, and what you do is get the majority of it off by just peeling it off like this. And then once you, ooh, sometimes it comes off really well, and sometimes it don't, depending on how well it's been glued down. Get as much as you can off uh, by careful pulling it away and using your blade. And then to finish off with, I'm going to go around with some sandpaper and get the frame really clean, and then get a little brush, get rid of all the dust, because the bellows gasket is self adhesive. And if you try to stick the self-adhesive bellows gasket onto a frame which has got dust on it, it won't stick properly. Uh, so you need to get that all off. So I'm going to go around, get all the old bellows gasket off, do a little bit of sanding and get a little brush. Just to go around and just brush all the dust. And then I'll show you how to fit the new gasket. Okay, that's a mucky old job, but all done. Nice and clean. The next step, Ellis gasket. So I'll just uh, have a little show of this. So the seven mil wide, two mil thick, self adhesive bellows gasket. Here we have it. This is four, four meters here, so that's going to be plenty. What I'll do is start somewhere in the middle. If I turn it around this way, I turn it right over there. Turn it that way, makes it easier. See, there we go. Start in the middle uh, and go around. When you get to the corner, just carefully curve it around the corner. It's all lying flat. All the way back round, and then cut it a little bit long so it goes over the end of the first bit, and then gradually trim it back till it matches exactly. So let's see how we get on with this. Peel back. 
So if it is a bit, hopefully you can see what's going on here. So somewhere in the middle, there we go. And I'm going to push it to the inside, so it's sitting nice and flat and butting against the frame, if you like, the inside of the frame, so it's actually nice and neat. And things take a bit of pressure, so pull it, not too tight, but just pull it so it's a little bit tight. And when you get to the corner, just very gently spin it around the corner, keeping it flat. Let's see where we get to. So this is just a nice thickness of Bellis gas, so it matches the thick the width of the frame. So that's going on nice. Keep spinning it round. Easy does it. Nice and gentle on the corners. Keep it flat. There we go. There we go. Almost back to the beginning again now, so that's coming round like that. Then nice and gently round the corner. Perfect. And then I'm going to chop it just a bit longer than it needs to be, so then I can cut it back so it gets an exact fit. So that's longer than it should be. Just put that carefully back ready for the next side. Eight. and then I'm just going to keep going and then I'm going to trim as carefully as I can so I've just got an exact match so it sits down so let's have a little look tiny bit more and there we are Happy with that. So now we have got nicely fitted brand new Pellis gasket. So I did exactly the same for the other side. Get that done. And I'll show you what it looks like. Right, there we are. All done. So no be nice Pellis gasket on there. Now I'm going to put the accordion back together. Now this is where there might need to be a little bit of adjustments made because the Pellis gasket is just a little bit thicker than the old one which is quite a thin layer of leather what can happen is as you put the cordial back together and the treble and bass sides on because you've got a thicker gasket there you might find it's difficult to get the pins into the holes uh, just because they're in the wrong place so if that's the case what I'm going to do is just show you how I would then address that problem it's quite simple to fix but I'll just show you that but let's see if we can get back together uh, with the bellows gasket as it is so uh, all the bellows pins went in really nicely so I had to compress things down a bit just to get them in but once they're in they're nice and secure nice and tight and it's made a big difference because the uh, the compression is really really good so for a 70 year old accordion it's a really really nice compression uh, having done the, the triple side pallets as well that's really helped to, to seal things up but I'm really impressed with this compression. I'm really happy with that. Um, if the bellows pins hadn't gone in at all, then what you'd have to do is plug up the old holes with some cocktail sticks and some wood glue and let that dry, cut them off, sand it down, and then get yourself a very fine drill and draw yourself some more holes for the bellows pins, which is a little bit of a faff, but it's quite, it's quite straightforward. But anyway, this has worked well. So let's see if I can give it a little tune.
it's all coming together. Uh, I think I haven't done any tuning yet, um, but it still sounds nice. Uh, and I'm very happy with the the compression now that I've done the Bellas gasket. Thanks for watching. Good evening. This next little clip is all about fixing a new grill cloth onto the grill. So it doesn't make a big difference having a nice grill cloth because it really smartens up the grill no end. So it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to do. Now the grill cloth has to be of a material which has got holes in it. Um, just so that you don't muffle the sound. If you just had a, a really thick bit of felt or something on the grill, on the inside of the grill there, it just would stop the movement of air and the sound um, quite a bit. So a grill cloth should be something which has got some holes in it. Now I've got two things here that I use. One is uh, Needlecraft fabric, which looks like this. And the other one is muslin, which looks like this. And in this case, because the the muslin is a bit cream, more of a cream than the white, that will fit in better with the creamy colour of the grill. So if I put that on there, I think that's going to look really, really nice. So a bit less contrasty than if you have the white, I think. So I'm going to go for the muslin. So let's see if we can get this all fitted up. The first thing then is to make sure that you've got the old grill cloth off and then just cleaned up the inside of the grill so just make sure it's not got any bits of material still on there and just clean up any old glue on there and then I'm going to measure how much of this I need so to do that I'm just going to get myself a pencil and make a few marks on here so if I just put this down like this so you can see what I'm doing hang on a minute <laughs> let's move this cording out of the way quite a tight space here so it's kind of like hang on a minute where's that looking that's better that's more like it right so if I just put that up there and I'm going to butt that to there so I've got a nice edge and then I'm going to make a mark with a pencil where I'm going to have to cut there we go that will do it so once I've got some markings on my muslin just going to get a nice sharp pair of scissors and just going to cut to size this is a very simple process but it's actually one of my favourite, I like doing Bella's gasket because it's just nice and it makes a big difference. And I like doing girl cloths because it's easy and it makes a big difference. So perhaps two of my favourite little jobs to do because of um, the ease and the effect. Maybe I'm just a bit lazy. and just No, I'm not lazy really, but maybe I just like the easy life. Perhaps, I don't know. There we are. So I'm going to cut that out. That's fine. Perfect. That's going to be really nice. So that will fit on perfectly. So the next thing is to get some glue and don't put the glue on the on the cloth because that just look really messy. But what I'm going to do is put the glue on the grill. And I'm going to try something today. I think it might work. I'm going to try some of this glue which is Eileen's original tacky glue by all accounts so this is a kind of craft glue so it's nothing too harsh it's not like super glue it's just a, a good old craft glue. it's kind of PVA but I think it's going to work let's give it a shake get some glue onto the top of my little pot here so let's see if this works got my little brush so let's just Let's just get some blue on here. I reckon it's going to work perfectly. Famous last words. Who knows? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Now then, this is not going to be the most exciting thing to watch. So what I might do is just carry on gluing it and just then... Okay, so I've got the glue on. And now I'm just going to pop the muslin 
nicely push down trying to get it as even as I can work really nicely. Let's have a look at the other side. Great. I think that's worked out really well. And so uh, that's now need a little bit longer to dry. But that's going to be fine. So if I put it back onto the accordion now, let's see what it looks like. And there we go. Uh, very nice. Okay, that's it. Nice and easy that one. So that's how you do. I just left it up so you can see the grill cloth on the Hona Carmen. There we are. Thanks for watching.